Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls. Welcome to Lordran. Uh, this is Kay, and I am home from work today, sick. So pardon any sniffling. This is the first new day since I recorded all of the other videos. Uh, so I... And I, I haven't had a chance to go back and look at them, so if you've left any comments on those videos, I'm sorry. I do tend to record uh, a few segments in a row, so if I if I ever don't reply to comments, uh, it's probably because I'm you know the next video is recorded immediately after the first one. And also, I I should say uh, this is a blind playthrough, so. Please try not to leave any spoilers and comments on these videos. Uh, you're, you're more than welcome to, you know, uh, let me know if I'm doing something wrong mechanically with the game, but, you know, don't, like, tell me where any secrets are, or, you know, give me anything that would make the game, that would break the game. So here we are. Uh, I've just arrived in Lordran. Uh, I've spent a couple of minutes uh, just sort of, like, rolling around this bonfire trying to get used to the controls again, but I haven't explored out from here. So, here we go. This is the first time I'm going to talk to this guy. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. Well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's oh, up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> that was sort of an unsettling laugh. So there's two bells I have to find now? Man, this quest keeps getting uh, more and more involved. I think I should have just left that guy with the key in the, uh, the key in the Estes. Do have anything else to say? Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Yeah. Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> what is with that laugh? Is this guy... He's kind of sinister, isn't he? Mm, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> Always with the laughing. All right, well, he sounds... His, his tone of voice makes him sound like... A shady character, but if I take him at his word, he doesn't sound like that bad of a guy. What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. Alright, well, I'm not going to hold the tone of his voice against him, so I'll take him at his word. Got some loot over here. That is... A very deep well with no visible water in it. Humanity 3. Maybe that's enough to, uh... To reverse hollowing. Humanity. Alright. Clearly I'm doing something wrong here. Humanity is... Okay, so I have humanity zero. I'm looking over at the bottom right. And I, I guess that's... I don't know if that's actually a stat. It's separated from the other stats. 
and it didn't start at 11 like all the other ones, so maybe that's... Okay, so here's... I have four humanity items, but zero humanity stat. So if I use one of these, I gain one humanity and restore health, so let me try that. I have four of them. So now, alright, so that counter in the top left is how many humanities I've used. And the counter in the bottom right is how many souls I have. Got it. We're getting this. Slowly. Can I do this now? Reverse hollow. Yes. So now I have zero humanity, so it used the one that I had. And what did it do? Oh, I'm, I'm not a zombie anymore. I'm a person. I have skin. I'm shiny. Alright. Uh, I don't know how that actually affects the game in any meaningful way, but I'm not a zombie. Hey, look. Check me out. You, what? You want to hear more? Oh, yes, please. that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen carefully, then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but the lift is broken. You'll have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burrow through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burrow, within the plague-infested blight town. But I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> I'm actually writing down notes on a piece of paper beside my keyboard here. <laughs> Bloody hell, what is it now? You ask too many questions. Alright, so we've got two bells. One is in the church. But the lift is broken, so I have to go through the undead berg via waterway. And then I have to get below the berg in something called Blight Town to find the other one. Okay, got it. Uh, what else have we got here? Anything in camp? A tree? Gigantic castle wall or some sort of wall with a walkway over there. That looks like something shiny off in the distance there, like right above my head. Oh, and there's another one down there. That might be a guy up on that ledge. I don't know if you can see him. He's kind of blending in with the wall. And maybe a walkway. And sort of... oh! There's the raven. And all sorts of ruins here. Seems like kind of a peaceful place. Wow. That thing is huge. So I'm, I assume that's the same bird that carried me from the, uh, from the asylum. Can I talk to it? Maybe I need to get up there. Looks like a... Like a treasure chest. It's already been it's already been looted. Got a statue of like a mother and child. Oh, 
stairs up. Okay. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got some loot down there, too. Alright, I want to talk to this bird. Excuse me. Hi. Wasn't wasn't quite done with the asylum. Could you possibly uh, clutch me in your talons and fly me away? Maybe. Jump. I don't think there's a jump button. Lost undead. What is that? Used to acquire souls. Souls are the source of all life, and whether undead or even hollow, one continues to seek them. I didn't realize there was a difference between being undead and being hollow. Huh, okay. I guess... I guess I'm still undead, but I'm not hollow because I'm not zombie. Like zombified. So I look like a person, but I'm still undead. I don't know. We'll learn more, I'm sure, as the game goes. I should I should be running, shouldn't I? Oops. I wanna get ow. I wanna get this. Those are those are moving. Those are moving. God, there's more of them. Oh god. Uh, target. Targeting the wrong one. No, not that one. Let me get this guy. He's alone. Ow. Oh, this is bad. There's four of them. Sorry. Okay, so this guy is all kind of gang up, gang up on you. Oh, and I'm a zombie again. Really? I don't even know what being uh, being <laughs> fleshy did. All right, so I've, I lost my uh, my 200 and something soul, so I want to get this back. Where are they? Okay, there they are. Uh, all right, so what happened here? I dropped down there, and I got two skeletons. And then I tried to run up the stairs and I got two more. So those those over there look like they might be uh, another set. So these guys didn't appear until I was pretty close to the ledge. So maybe I can deal just with these two over here first without making those two appear. Let's try that. Got shield, lock on. Like, 
how I bumped into the stairs. Oh, when I hit them, they kind of fall apart for a second. It's like, I gotta reprieve. Reprieve. Ah, I keep switching which one I'm locked onto. Get him, get him. Get this one. Get rid of one. Yeah. Ow. Oh, he keeps coming back. <laughs> okay, there's one. Swing. Oh, God, that still takes a lot of life. Another one. Oh, <laughs> it didn't do anything. <laughs> have any more swings. Alright. I guess I don't even have to make those two appear. Because I already got the item from over there and it doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go. And we got a staircase down here. Any items? Any treasure? Oh, there is treasure behind that gravestone right there. Okay. These are gonna be more skeletons. Oh, get the item! <laughs> I didn't even see what it was. <laughs> I wasn't looking. and knocks him back. Ow. Oh. No. No, 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 no. I didn't use any healing, did I? I had like half my life bar when I went in there and I didn't use a healing item because I'm- Oh wait, I have ten- I have ten Estus flasks now. That's new. I wonder why I have ten of them. Well, I'm not gonna complain. Alright, let's try one more- one more run at these skeletons and then I'll take a break. Forgetting I have this roll. Since my shield doesn't seem to absorb all the damage, maybe I should try rolling instead of blocking. Try that. Like, roll. Snake. Roll. Ow! No. <laughs> no, no, no. I guess I can't- I can't hit them when they're down. Okay, I should heal. Uh, if I get a chance. Swing, and then heal. I don't want to be locked on that one. Heal. Oh, that's good. I fell down. Okay. That's really good. Now I can take care of this guy. It's just one. It's, it's not that bad. Oh, I should... What, what item did I pick up? Was it another one of these souls? I guess it was another soul. Is that right? I picked up... That one from next to the bird. 
And this one, I think, was on the ledge behind me. Like, over there. So, shouldn't I have three? So maybe it wasn't as... was it like a key? Maybe it was the sh... the shield. Alright, uh... The shield looks from the picture like it should be better. Because it looks like it's got some sort of metal, like, reinforced... edge. But it... I don't know what these numbers mean. 50, 52... So it's much better in whatever this fourth thing is, but, and it's a little bit worse in whatever this first thing is. Uh, isn't there a way to... Okay. So it's still a wooden shield. Greatly reduces magic damage. Okay, so magic resistant shield. And this, this one just sounds bad all around. So, what is this? 50 physical... It says 50 physical attack and then 85 physical reduction percent. Why would a shield have an attack number? And a critical number? If it's not defense. So this has two more... Oh, okay, so durability and weight are those last two. The shield is more durable and lighter. And it has a higher physical reduction percent. So this seems kind of better all around. This has more stability, though. I don't know what stability is. Well, let's try this one and see how it works. I just... I don't know, I have to go in here. And change it. Maybe I'll just put both on so I can switch between them. Okay. Well, it looks prettier. It's got kind of an, uh, what is that, an omega? The omega symbol? Greek letter. Alright. I wanna get this shiny. Another soul. There's another one of these shields up there with some bones near it. Probably more skeletons. That was where I got either the shield or the soul. Maybe I should use those souls and see if I can get a, a level. Fight these guys first. I need to figure out how to like get a different skeleton targeted because it's kind of slow to, to unlock every single time and then kind of point at the one I want. Oh, I got that guy on the other side of the graves. Attack. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. No, wrong one. This guy. Alright, that's one. There's another one. If I was just gonna run back to the bonfire, why did I fight those guys? Because they're gonna come back. Uh, maybe there's like easily accessible treasure here, and then I'll run back. We have another path down. More treasure with more skeletons. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go back. I'm running. Since I think I'm probably at like, 
probably close to 15 minutes. Oh, rolling uses uses uh, the stamina meter. I guess I shouldn't do that. I don't have any more humanity. So I need 800 souls. How much do I get for using one of these things? We've got. Oops. We have two large ones and one regular one, so let's try just the regular one. 200 souls. Not enough. Four hundred. There we go. Uh, if I use the other one, I'll have 15, 14, which is not enough for two levels, so I'll save that one. Oh, wait, every level costs more than the last one. 811 and then 829. Okay, uh, what should I put this into? Health. What does attunement do? Like, vitality gives me health and defenses, and attunement gives me. Oh, it gives me an extra attunement slot from 1 to 2. But I still don't know what that does. So. Endurance gives stamina, equipment load, bleed resistance, and defense. It's just all around awesome. Like, why would I not put points into that? Strength makes right hand weapon and left hand weapon do more damage by a little bit. Dexterity is just defense, but it said it boosted weapon, but you must have to- I guess some weapons get more damage from increasing strength and other weapons get more damage from increasing dexterity, like clubs and, I don't know, like sabers or apes or something maybe. This increases poison resistance and defense. This increases... Uh, I think it said it, it increases magic power, and this increases, like, uh, like healing power. And I'm not using any magic at the moment, if, if I even can, so I think I'm just going to do another point into endurance, because it affects so many things. So. Maybe life, actually. Maybe health. I don't get a lot. 646 to 6... Eh, we'll do endurance. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you're enjoying it. Later.